Will you turn that thing off? Today we're going to Milan, the fashion capital of Europe. But first, we have to deal with my own mess. Before I head out, of course, I have a million things to do. Clean my entire flat and also get this room ready for guests. Of course, overnight, one of the pictures fell off the wall. I gotta deal with putting away laundry, camera store. My drawing rack, big fat mess. I thought I'd use this time to tell you something that is <clears throat> very important. And what I want to say is, I really never, I mean, it's really, I mean, I hope that you agree with everything that I just said. It's just really, really so thank you very much for listening. Tastes like chicken. Last night I finished my next See You in the World. Got it all figured out and edited here on my laptop. And of course, right towards the end of it, I ran out of this space. So it was a big hassle. So I had to get my little hard drive, put it all onto uh, the hard drive and that took an enormous amount of time, believe me. Now I got to detach the hard drive, attach it into my main computer on my desk, and then send the episode to YouTube. Of course, desktop isn't turning on. Okay, I cut out all the part where I had to figure out what was wrong with my computer. It wasn't turning on. It finally turned on. The keyboard wasn't working. It now works. Now I'm going to plug this in. Of course, I'm in a rush today, so that's exactly why all this is not working right. And then I'm drinking chicken. My latest episode of See You in the World, I'm going to transfer it over to YouTube. Then when I'm on the train to Milano, I'll check it all out and make sure that it's all okay. And okay, I got the floors clean, the carpet back, the bathroom, the guest room, my room together, the kitchen done, my YouTube being uploaded as we speak. I accomplished a lot and it's only 9.30. I think I'm going to be overly ambitious and go to the gym. have insalata during the week. Lettuce, all ready to go. Onions, so put a few onions in there. I have peppers, cucumber, so far no fat. Cut up carrot, some olives, a little bit of fat, but it's like olive oil, so it's not bad. But here I go. Took me just under a minute to make a salad, and I'm good to go. I have something in my stomach for the train ride over to Milano. Ready for my two hour train ride to Milano. Well, almost ready. I decided that I need some treats. So we're going to go in and get some cookies. And Monica's working. She's shy. She doesn't like to be on camera. How are you? You're working. What? I always see you on vacation on Facebook. Okay, so we're gonna get some cookies for our trip to Milan. So, hi, this is Monica. She doesn't know how to bake, 
Do you know how to bake? Yes. Okay, do you bake these cookies? She bakes them at home, but she only sells me store-bought cookies. I think we want... That one looks really good. Those, I need a couple for my trip to Milan. Going to Milan? Yeah. Do you want to come? Yeah. That means no. no. Um, see, she said no. Okay, so I think I want the dark chocolate, milk chocolate. And that's all, I'm on a diet. I like traveling by train. You just put what you need on the back of you. One thing you need to make sure of when you're traveling by train is that your destination might not be the destination that shows up on the board. That your train might go to a different destination after it reaches where you're going. In my case, I'm going to Milano, but the train goes all the way to Torino. So you just need to make sure that what your ticket says, the time of departure, it matches the uh, train number and then you're all set. I really love using Airbnb for traveling. It's super convenient and easy to navigate. I have my reservation here to Milano. I just open it up, click on the address, it tells me where to go. It also, it tells me how to get there. Just as easy as that. We've arrived in Milano. 